Thanks. Now today we are going to discuss about the brainstorming and the critical appreciation of the poem 2.6 Money by William H. Davies. Now the first question is A1, first one. Money does not mean everything in life. Discuss with your partner and justify the statement by giving examples. Take help of the following points. In this question, some points are given to you. We have to justify this answer. For example, say the first one is money cannot give you eternal happiness. So let's look at the answer now. The answer to this question is money gives us happiness, but it is short lived. To have happiness, we require people who care for us and want to be with us. This can be only our loved ones, which is our family and true friends. They are always with us, whether you have money or not, whether you are rich or you are poor. So let us see the B1, which is art, music and literature can give you unending happiness. What is the answer to this? It is that these all have an immense power to trigger our senses. They have the power to connect with people and attract them towards the art, music and literature. When we are doing such things, we leave behind our worries and problems. We go into a different plane, which is filled with experiences of unending happiness and bliss of true joy. Let's see, money is short lived. We have to, to prove this point. So it is as this. We do experience situations where people lose their jobs and money. Hard times can make anybody poor. If there is a pandemic such as this, like the COVID-19, or the natural disaster like earthquakes, there are floods, there are many things, or any other problem, people tend to lose all their money within a fraction of seconds. Thus, we have many examples in our society too, where people have went from uh, riches to rags. Okay. Thus, money is short-lived. We prove our point that money is short-lived. Now, the next is D. Money cannot purchase happiness and contentment. That is, money cannot give you happiness and enjoyment in your life. We do not have peace in your life. See, the answer to this is that today, we see many people around us who have loads of money, but they don't have a family or they don't have close friends. Many a times, people commit crimes or even do suicides just because they are rich but they are not happy they don't have happiness and contentment in their life okay. the next question here is to debate on the following topic in groups money is the solution for everything now people will write many different sentences for this particular uh, what do you say debate the topic but we can say that money is solution to all the problems money is used to move the world with money we can uh, get good health care we can get good education we will uh, we can buy a nice house uh, with money we can have protection in our life with money we can uh, make our life secure for the future so there are so many things okay now the next one is a2 statement state whether the following statements are true or false correct the false statements with the help of the poem so here what you have to do the first one is the poet knew no joy till he was rich the answer to this sentence is false <clears throat> as in the first line we see that when he had money he knew no joy until he went poor so the statement is false okay the correct statement for this is that till the poet went poor he did not know what is joy okay the next is that the poet felt that he should talk about his poverty the uh, answer to this is false no the poet did not want to talk about his poverty so when poet had money he had many true friends so this particular sentence is also false because when he had money he had all the untrue, untrue friends or all the false, false uh, people around him so answer to this is also false next one is when poet became poor he had a few real friends so this particular sentence is true because we come to uh, know by the last line that now I have no money oh my friends are real though very few that means the sentence is true now the next question here is write reasons for the following statements now some statements are given to you I have to expand those okay the first is a friends came knocking all day at the poet store what is the answer to this the answer to this is that when the poet was rich people came along all the way friends came knocking all the day at the poet store when he was rich uh, to meet him, greet him every day. He was surrounded by a huge crowd which wanted his money. 
there were so called selfish friends greedy friends who wanted to enjoy the poet's rich lavish and comfortable lifestyle so this is the answer to this particular statement now next is b poor men's wives hum like bees what is the answer to this particular uh, what is the sentence is that poor men are not afraid of anyone they do not have any worries because they don't have to accumulate wealth okay they are hard working people they are not surrounded by cheats or false friends like the poet he is rich but he is surrounded by people greedy people who want to just uh, what is it fulfill their needs and like they are always in the company of their true friends and family they are always they always feel satisfied as they are happy with whatever they have they are satisfied with whatever life they have okay then their wives are also very busy doing their uh, what to say busy schedule they are doing their work they are they are not discussing or wasting their time on gossips of rich people like the rich people do then so a poor man's wife is very happy and she is always humming like the bees the next question here is c money makes the world go round explain in the light of the poet's experience we have to explain this particular line by putting ourselves in the place of the poet and then we have to explain it see it is a very popular phrase and somewhat true that the money can make the world go round but in the poem the poet does not accept this fact as when he had money he had everything yet he felt something missing we have seen that the poet had all the money in the world but he was only surrounded by what is a foolish greedy self satisfied self centered people okay so he felt something missing in his life he didn't have true friends as he was always surrounded by selfish men but here happiness does not need objects we can say there's this line as this that the happiness cannot be objectified okay if you have so and so things you cannot say that i am happy unless you feel the happiness okay but we require money for almost everything today like uh, food clothing shelter education healthcare security and etc if we can fulfill these needs extra is not required this is what the message the poet wants to give to us that if money is there and you can use the money only when needed then your life is easy it is well satisfied life but see here money is important in life but not life this is what the poets want to tell to us that money is important because you need it to live a nice life okay but not in exceed the poet's experience was while he was rich false men came but in poverty only true friends remained while he was rich only false people came around came by and when he became poor poor he broke uh, only true friends came by him now let us see the next one fourth one poor men need not go up so much as a rich man should come down express your views regarding this statement now what is this answer to this particular statement the answer to this particular statement is this such as see this statement is true and makes a lot of sense why it makes sense because the poor people will be able to survive the hardships of life they live simply surrounded by the loved ones okay they have a very simple life so they will just face all the problems as they are they have minimum requirements thus they do not have to worry over money like unlike the rich thrive to live a rich lavish uh, comfortable rich lifestyle they have servants who work at their mercy okay they don't have to do anything the rich people don't have to do anything they have uh, servants for them who do all their work okay they are always worried about their money so, yeah, we have a uh, if you know any, any rich person any, anybody is in your contact if you ask him how do you feel about money that person is always confused and he's he's like i want to earn more money i don't know what to do with this money i have to invest somewhere i have to bring more so these people are always worried about the money okay they are not happy with what they have and want more thus they tend to spend more okay now the next one is A three first one. Find out meanings of the phrases given below and use them in your own sentences. So phrases are given to you. I will tell you the meanings to this and then we'll see the sentences. First A, be in the money to suddenly have a lot of money. So this is the meaning of this particular phrase. So the sentence to this is that it looks like he is in the money the way 
every week he uses new electronical items so the meaning of this is that he has a lot of money suddenly he had a lot of money so he has money to buy uh, almost everything b wins a lot of money win money in a lottery or gambling okay so the sentence for this is that dhiraj won lots of money in the weekly lottery last week or you can say last month c one is that c for my money in exchange of so you can say that amul brought a very beautiful uh, what is say watch for his money okay from his money so this means that in exchange of that money he got a very beautiful watch next money for old robe the meaning of this phrase is that money received very easily for doing some uh, what do you say uneasy task money for old robe it means money received for very uh, easy task or very easily earned money so the example for this is that i can uh, give about two friends talking with each other and suddenly one friend says that i get 2000 rupees pocket money every week so the other friend may say wow that's money for an old robe means how can somebody get paid 2000 rupees for doing nothing and just uh, as pocket money so it is that way okay so next is e put once money where once mouth is this means taking action to support the statement this is the meaning of this particular uh, what is say phrase so an example to give for this particular sentence is that we can say that can say that selfish people easily get their works done by uh, innocent people now how do they do this then the selfish people may say that they know where to put once money where once mouth is this can be your sentence next one is a very nice one as there is the complete the crossword with the help of the clues from the poem if you can see i have already solved it but we are not going to go this way i am going to tell you the meaning to those things and then we will solve the crossword so what are these see let's say see the first one now what are the uh, across means this way what are the phrases given for this side and the meaning see the across it is given first one is a brass musical instrument so what is that instrument a brass musical instrument is the trumpet t r u m p e t trumpet this is the answer for the first one across is the second one a low steady continuous sound now what is that low steady continuous sound second one you can see it is the hum h u m hum this is the second answer so the third answer the third version is that what is for false false means what is false in the poem false is untrue this is untrue u n t r u e untrue this is the answer so let's go for the fourth one fourth one says say something say something here means what what is what do you mean by to say something say something means speak s p e a k speak this is your answer here is downwards is not imaginary not imaginary means it is a real thing r e a l real this is your answer fourth one is a ponder what do you mean by ponder ponder means to one downwards what words are given meanings for those is fifth one is not imaginary not imaginary means real r e a l real this is your answer sixth one is to ponder ponder means to what is the meaning of ponder ponder means to think t h i n k think this is your answer seventh one is singing insects so now which are the singing insects which are mentioned in this particular poem none but they are compared which are those insects those are the bees so b e e s b s this is your answer next is it one in large number what what is the thing which means in large number it means it one strike a surface noisily what is the meaning of such a word so the word is knock the answer is k n o c k knock okay k n o c k knock this is your answer a four question first one which is complete the following table now what is given here serial numbers figure of speech lines of the poem and then we have the explanation of those particular given lines so let us start the first one is inversion so you have to find a line from the poem which is inversion the first one is here then felt i like a child okay so the explanation for this is that in this particular figure of speech order of the sentences is incorrect it should be then i felt like a child then we have simile and how their wives hummed like bees here the word 
uh, like has come here which is a direct comparison between women and bees repetition when i had money money o oh. so you know that the money word is repeated okay then we have onomatopoeia not the money word the consonant of uh, money is repeated more than twice onomatopoeia how their wives hum like bees here the sound of the bees that is humming of the bees is mentioned okay then we have antithesis antithesis poor ones laugh rich ones frown so here poor and rich are opposites of each other thus they form an antithesis the next one here is identify the rhythm a rhyme scheme of all the stanzas of the poem if you have studied the stanzas all the stanzas correctly the first four stanzas have the rhyming scheme a b c b and the fifth stanza has a b a b so the next question is the question of critical appreciation of the poem money so in this particular thing we are going to see the following sub topics which are the title poet poem theme style the poetic devices utilized then special features significance and finally the opinion of the poem so the title of the poem is money the poem's title is somewhere related with the theme of money it briefly discusses the poet's state of mind while being rich and unhappy and finally being poor but happy now let's see the poet poet william h davies was a notable poet and writer the following poem is autobiographical in nature he spent his entire life living on the streets singing and dancing he lived a life of a hobo or a tramp he has also been a peddler in this poem he puts forth his views on money now let's see the poem the poem is written in the form of a narrative it narrates the self experiences of the poet of being rich and unhappy and then being poor but happy the narrator also discusses his dilemma of being surrounded by selfish mean people it's only after being broke and poor he experiences love and support from his true friends now let's see the style the poem has been divided into five stanzas each The rhyming scheme of the first four stanzas is A B C B, while the fifth stanza is A B A B. The language is simple, and a number of poetic devices are used by the poet. Some phrases are used intentionally, which help us to identify the selfish friends and the true friends in the poem. Now, let us see the poetic devices used. The first is inversion. then felt i like a child that holds a trumpet that he must not blow and then we have much have i thought of life and seen here we can see the order of the sentences has been interchanged to bring out the poetic effect now the second is repetition when i had money money o oh, my many friends here the consonant sound m has been repeated more than twice the next is onomatopoeia and how their wives to hum like bees here the sound of the humming of the bees is mentioned next is simile the last one is antithesis in the fourth stanza poor ones laugh rich ones coldly frown then we have go up come down here a number of opposites are used such as poor and rich up down go up come down it brings the contradictory effect in the poem the special feature of the poem is the expression of their tone of using o when the poet utilized this in the first line it suggested his depression and loneliness but when you hear the same again in the last stanza third line it makes us feel that now he feels happy and fulfilled let's see the significance the poem teaches us an important lesson that money can't buy us happiness It is an eye opener for all of us as it teaches us to identify between true friends and selfish ones. It brings us to the reality that money is not as important in life as we think. We should give equal importance to the people who love and trust us or even more. Lastly the opinion. I really like the poem. It helped me understand an important thing. money is not as important as we think it is in life money is important 
but to gain happiness every person requires attention care and love which we get only from our friends and family